Hi, welcome to Neural Splendor. Today I wanted to talk about the history of the ISX. When the engine was first uh, released back in probably around 96, 97, it was called the Apex. It was a real secretive thing. Uh, the engine ran in field test on the street for almost a year. Uh, when Cummins releases a brand new kind of product, that's, that engine is given by the people that work at Cummins and uh, the status of field test. Whenever it's in field test, they pick out a couple people at every distributor location who are trained. And if the engine has a problem, those are the only people that work on it. You have direct contact with engineers and you basically call them and they tell you what they want you to do. Because that's the engine's early uh, public release, if you will. So it started out being named the Apex. If you ordered the 600 horsepower, 2,050 foot-pound torque version of the Apex, it was called the Signature. The Signature was a beautiful engine to look at. There was uh, fiberglass covers on the fuel system side, so it looked very sleek. Also, the Signature had an aluminum valve cover and it's a big one-piece valve cover. It was chromed and down the center of it, it said Signature, later it said Cummins. There were people that ordered that valve cover just because when you opened the hood, it was stunning looking. Then we move from there to the uh, CM870, the first ECM generation was CM570 that had no emission systems at all. Then we went to the 870. The 870 had an EGR cooler added, a mechanical variable turbo. Then we went to the CM871. That had the VGT turbo, and it had EGR, and it had a diesel particulate filter in the exhaust system. Then we went to the uh, CM2250. That was the first common rail version in 2010 and they added an SCR system behind the diesel particulate filter. That engine had a second ECM called the after treatment controller and it was somewhere back by the after treatment system under the truck and it was tied electro, uh, by harnesses into the main engine ECM. It controlled basically the after treatment functions. Then the CM2350 generation, they incorporated that second ECM or built it into the main engine ECM. The electronics got a little more advanced on it. Then it became the X15. When it became the X15 and the CM2450, they added telematics. We'll talk about telematics in another video. And then they did some other small tweaks to the engine. So that is the ISX engine uh, kind of history. It is an excellent engine. It's Cummins premier engine. And we run just those engines in our fleet. And uh, we haul very heavy equipment. The engines virtually are trouble free. Yeah, everything has problems, but they are just running workhorses. So thank you for joining Neural Splendor. We'll see you next time.